Where am I? The caves beneath Canterlot, once home to greedy unicorns who wanted to claim the gems that could be found inside. And now, your prison. Help! Help! <laughs> it's no use. No one can hear you. And no one will ever think to look for you either. Most ponies have forgotten that these caves even exist, which is why they are the ideal place to keep the ones who try to interfere with my plans. <laughs> plans? What plans? The plans I have for your brother, of course. Don't you dare do anything to my brother, you... you monster! The only way to stop me is to catch me. <laughs> Over here! Sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs awake. Clap your hooves and, and do, do a little shake. shake. You remember me? Of course I do. How could I forget the filly I love to sit for the most? <laughs> we have to get out of here. We have to stop her. This was my favorite uncle's. And? And I think I should wear it. Are you disagreeing with me? I guess I am. <laughs> oh, dear. Are you getting another one of your headaches? <laughs> Feeling better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She isn't just unpleasant and rude. She's downright evil. Twilight! Let her go. Huh. It seemed like she had something else she wanted to tell me. Who goes there? Stay indoors, Twilight Sparkle. Shining 
farmers in real trouble. You have to help. Dresses? What are you? Can you believe it? We're gonna be Princess Mia Mori Cadenza's new bridesmaids. New bridesmaids? What happened to her old bridesmaids? She didn't say, but she did tell us that she would love, love, love it if we'd fill in for them. Seeing as we've been working so hard and everything. And you had your doubts about her. Told you she was an absolute gem. You sure this is what I should wear? <sighs> Doesn't seem all that aerodynamic. Mm, I'll see what I can do. Oh, this is so, so exciting. Oh, I know, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I really am on my own. Perfect, girls. No need to rush. Then, of course, Cadence will enter. I'll say a few words, and then we'll begin with the vows. Shining armor, you'll get the ring from your best mare. Do you? I do! Hey, has any pony seen Twilight? I'm here! I'm not gonna stand next to her! And neither should you! I'm sorry, I... I don't know why she's acting like this. Maybe we should just ignore her. You have to listen to me! Oh, goodness! Are you okay? I'm fine. You sure about that? I've got something to say. She's evil! She's been horrible to my friends. She's obviously done something to her bridesmaids. And if that wasn't enough, I saw her put a spell on my brother that made his eyes go all... <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Because you're evil. <laughs> evil! And if I don't stop you, you're gonna ruin my brother's life! You want to know why my eyes went all... <sighs> because ever since I started having to perform my protection spell, I've been getting terrible migraines. Cadence hasn't been casting spells on me, she's been using her magic to heal me. And she decided to replace her bridesmaids because she found out the only reason they wanted to be in the wedding was so they could meet Canterlot royalty. And if she hasn't been on her best behavior with your friends, it's because with me being so busy, she's had to make all the decisions about the wedding. I was just trying to... She's completely stressed out because it's really important to her that our big day be perfect. Something that obviously wasn't important to you. <sighs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go and comfort my bride. And you can forget about being my best mare. In fact, if I were you, I wouldn't show up to the wedding at all. <gasps> no pony breaks a pinky promise!
breakfast. I could have come to that breakfast. Not have been telling y'all what happened. Well, I, I... I'm sorry, Pinky, but I can't tell y'all the truth. I just can't. Well, I heard a sorry in there, so that'll have to do for now. I'll get a real apology later. Ready, catch you. What? Pinky! <laughs> Rainbow, go back! No time! They knew what they were getting into. Just like Miss Jubilee said. Don't you get it? There's every color of ribbon down there. Every color but blue. I came in fourth, third, even second. But I didn't win one first prize. And I certainly didn't win any prize money. But the telegram said you were going to send money. That's why I came here. I wanted to earn some money. After that big old send-off Ponyville gave me, I just didn't have the nerve to come home empty-hooved. I couldn't come home a failure. When somebody tries to block, show them that you rock. Ah! Easy does it, lady. We're moving, okay? Good. Today. What do you think you're doing? Didn't you see me? Uh, I, I guess maybe. Maybe? Maybes are for babies. Now go to the back of the line where you belong! <laughs> is so feisty. It's fabulous. Looks like that monster's workshop really paid off. Iron Will's not a monster. He's a minotaur and a true inspiration. His techniques really work. Well, they've certainly made a difference in the way you carry yourself. You truly are a whole new Fluttershy. Yes, I am. And new Fluttershy feels pretty stoked about new Fluttershy. Well, old Pinkie Pie feels really proud of new Fluttershy. Proud as pink punch. Want some? You laugh at me, I wrath at you! Bye, girls! What a day! Taxi! Oh, no you don't! Cut in line, I'll take what's mine! No pony pushes new Fluttershy around! No, Old Pinkie Pie's not so sure new Fluttershy is such a good idea after all. Old Rarity agrees. You got this, new Fluttershy. This day is yours, and no pony's gonna take it away from you. Am I right? Right! What? He's delivered the wrong mail again! Ooh. A new Fluttershy does not want the wrong mail delivered to her cottage. Oh, did I mix him up again? Sorry about that. You apologize, I penalize. <sighs> Ooh. Excuse me, do you know how to get to the Ponyville Tower? Sure, you're just... Oh, that's a 
shame. Ah! You make me lose, I blow my fuse! Hey! Fluttershy, what are you doing? That's no way to behave. Didn't you see what he did to new Fluttershy? And he thought new Fluttershy was a pushover. No, sweetie, he didn't. We saw the whole thing. We think that you've taken your assertiveness training a little too far. What? You just want new Fluttershy to be a doormat like old Fluttershy. But old Fluttershy is gone! New Fluttershy! Old Fluttershy! What happened to nice Fluttershy? We want that Fluttershy back. No, you want wimp Fluttershy. You want pushover Fluttershy. You want do anything to her and she won't complain Fluttershy. Yeah, too many Fluttershy's to keep track of. Make it stop. Things getting too complicated for your simple little brain, Pinkie Pie. Now, stop right there. Let's not let things descend into petty insults. Why not? I thought petty was what you're all about, Rarity, with your petty concerns about fashion. <gasps> hey, leave her alone! Fashion is her passion! Oh, and what are you passionate about? Birthday cake? Party hats? I can't believe that the two most frivolous ponies in Ponyville are trying to tell New Fluttershy how to live her life when they are throwing their own lives away on pointless pursuits that no pony else gives a flying feather about! <laughs> Looks like Nasty Fluttershy is here to stay! <laughs> Stop laughing at me! Oh, poor Pinkie Pie. And here I thought laughter made you happy. Happy? I don't think so. Pinkie Pie, are we glad to see you? Oh, you are, huh? Why? Need a good laugh. Pinky? What do you suppose has her so upset? It's not like her. I didn't notice anything strange about Pinky. Weird. Better pick up the pace before the stress of this gets the better of all of us. I was expecting an audience with the princess, not outdoor sport. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Welcome to your lucky day, Rarity. You found the one thing in Equestria that could rival my face for sheer beauty. What do you think you like? Yes, I like very much. <laughs> no, no, I shan't succumb to such fabulousness. Must get to the center to mate. The others! <laughs> well, Rarity, it took forever, but it was worth it. Who knew three little gemstones would turn out to be this handsome hunk of a diamond? Now to get you home. <laughs> Are we glad to see? Why are you carrying a humongous boulder? What do you mean, boulder? This big, beautiful, bedazzling rock is a diamond! And it's all mine. Keep your envious little eyes off it! I found it and it's mine, fair and square! Okay, I can do this. I can... No! Oh, wait a minute. Butterflies? Wait! Don't leave me here! Fluttershy, looks like you've been left behind by your so-called friends, huh? Oh, no. I'm certain they're doing their best to find me. Well, it must be so upsetting to know how weak and helpless they think you are. Not at all. I am weak and helpless, and I appreciate their understanding. Yes, well, sure, it burns you up. I mean, that they're always pointing out your flaws, right? Not really. In fact, I think I'm awfully lucky to have friends who want me to be the best I can be. Oh, for goodness sake! You've been kind for far too long, my dear. Time to be cruel! Arr 
Arrivederci! Fluttershy! I'm so glad to see a friendly face. This awful labyrinth is getting to every pony. Mm. Oh, boo hoo hoo! Why don't you wave your magic little horn and make everything all right? Uh. Oh, that's right. You can't. You don't have one. What is happening to my friends? <laughs> and what are you laughing at? Juggle milk. <laughs> Little help here. Thanks, Twilight. You're welcome. But don't get any ideas about my gen. I know where you live. I've got you now, Element. Right here. Where's Rainbow Dash? Great galloping galoshes. There's been an avalanche in there. Rainbow! Look! It's the turtle! Tortoise! Oh, whatever. And he's carrying something on his back. Oh, it's Rainbow Dash! It's her! It's Rainbow! Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Ray? Maybe we'd better go meet him halfway. Guy. Oh, thank goodness you're not hurt, Rainbow. Just my pride. I certainly hope all of this dreadful dust was worth it. <laughs> it sure was, if it means Rainbow gets to have her own little critter just like the rest of us from now on. Uh, thanks. What you did, I owe you one. Rainbow, your new pet is over here waiting for you. Oh, right. Yeah, that. Mm, what's the matter? You got your perfect pet, right? The best of the best like you wanted, remember? It can fly and it's not a squirrel. Should we sing about it again? A falcon sure looks good on you, Rainbow. Easy, Bella. Nothing to be afraid of. A falcon sure does look cool. He's absolutely everything I wanted in a pet. <sighs> Yay? But I said whoever crosses the finish line with me gets to be my pet. You did! You did say that! She did say that! That was the rule! Look, everybody! 
Everypony, the entrance! Great! Now there's no way out! We're trapped! You two deserve this horrible fate! You've done nothing but argue and fight with each other! You've been fighting too, your highness! Yeah, worse! I haven't been fighting nearly as much as you! So ridiculous! A unicorn never stoops to fighting! That's just because you wimpy unicorns know you never win! Earth ponies are not soft! Pegasi are brutes! Unicorns are stuck! The more hate the spirit feels, the colder things become. Then this is our fault. We three tribes. We brought this blizzard to our home by fighting and not trusting each other. Now it's destroying this land, too. And now our bodies will become as cold as our hearts. All because we were foolish enough to hate. Well, I don't hate you. I actually hate Commander Hurricane a lot more than I hate you guys. <laughs> Actually, I don't really hate her. I just really, 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 really dislike her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't hate you guys either. Nor do I. No matter what our differences, we're all ponies. I didn't know unicorns could do that. I didn't either. Nothing like this has ever happened before. But I know it couldn't have been just me. It came from all three of us, joined together in friendship. All through the night, the three ponies kept the fire of friendship alive by telling stories to one another and by singing songs, which, of course, became the winter carols that we all still sing today. Eventually, the warmth of the fire and the singing and laughing reached the leaders and their bodies began to thaw. And it even began to melt their hearts. The three leaders agreed to share the beautiful land and live in harmony ever afterwards. And together, they named their new land Abrasia!
something to be proud of. You steal every pony's things, terrorize the town, and use me as a weapon against my own friends. Which, as horrible as it is, I can almost understand because you're a dragon and all. But this... This is a crime against fashion! <laughs> Oh, no. You are not getting this gemstone. <clears throat> this was given to me by my dear friend, Spikey Wikey, the kindest, sweetest, most generous dragon ever. And it is too precious to me to give to a greedy old beast like you. <clears throat> than to eat it myself. I... I don't know what to say. This is just so generous. Oh, what now? I suppose you'll be eating me or something. 